Hey, it's Sean and Carrie from Owning Toronto. We're at 18 Tennis Crescent in Scarborough. Okay, so we walk into the front door of this beautiful place and that spiral staircase is right very there. welcoming. Yes. Uh, and when we head over to our right, we see the living room off the front. Pretty nice. Nice bay window here and three windows to fill up the space. On natural light, get a nice look up in the street. Yes. And that opens up into an open concept into the dining room, mm -hmm. which is a spectacular space. This is a really nice piece of furniture that they have in here too, which helps a lot. And it is, it's very, very nice. Yeah, it's, this actually happens to be a custom built, beautiful round table that folds down into uh, six, six, and then folds that to fit eight to 10. Um, this is a really large uh, dining room. You've also got the uh, detailed ceiling. Good sized kitchen. It's brand new countertop on it. What kind of countertop is that? These are quartz. Okay. These are very durable, not yeah. porous. So, you know, you can leave your hot pots on here and you don't have to worry about it absorbing stains. So you can spill a little bit of wine and wipe that up pretty quickly. Right. Um, they've also included, uh, added a new faucet and double size uh, inset sink. Mm -hmm. There's also a new uh, slide-in range gas stove with a microwave range hood. Mm -hmm. We've also added this amazing large fridge, oh, which a lower deep freeze, two trays at the bottom. I, I kind of like this. Brand yeah. spankers for all the appliances. A nice uh, stainless steel dishwasher to go along with it. Well, of course, why wouldn't you? You've got to finish the whole space up. And then the cupboards, there's lots of cupboard space. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have this lovely eating kitchen part. Plenty of room for you yeah. to either sit over at the uh, at the countertop. The breakfast bar, breakfast. as I like to call it. Yes, most people do. Yeah. And or at the dining, at the kitchen table. And have a quick look outside. We're not going to head out there because we have to take our shoes off, of course, uh, to come in the house. So our shoes are sitting at the front door. So that's the yard there. Uh, a a two-tiered deck. And you can see there's a little spot down below. Of, very nice. And then a nice green space in the back, a shed, a bench to sit on, a little garden back there, and a little artwork over the top with the wood. It makes it very, very nice. Yeah. Okay. Now, heading back into the house. Now you go into this fabulous family room. Yes. Hot lights throughout for added light. Yeah. Um, of course, you still have three windows to light the space up, right. and this beautiful uh, built-in shelf. Very custom, customly like designed. Yeah. Um, and again, hardwood floors in the in this space as well. Mostly hardwood floors throughout the main floor. Yes, except for the kitchen, I think, right? Kitchen and bathrooms. And that's the staircase to the basement. We are going to go around and have a look at the office real quick on the main floor here. Right. Office den kind of thing. There is also a Powder room. Powder room, two piece bathroom here, which is nice. Got everything you need. It does have There's everything toilets, you need. Yeah. Sink. Yeah, we I mean, want more. Wait, before you go in there, uh -huh. I think it's nice to say that we also have this mud room. So yes. there's a side entrance there that leads to downstairs as well. Yep. And then here you have your garage. Which, so beautiful two car garage, yeah. right? Sorry. <laughs> Man cave it's, dream. Yeah, right? it's kind of my dream come true, really. Yeah. So. I didn't mean to interrupt you though, but you were okay. going to say it's such a great, it's such a great thing to have a mud room right off the side of that because you're going to drive right in your car. Correct. You come in, hang your coat and your jacket up, yeah, your shoes off, and then a direct link to the outside as well. All right, so this is the office that we were going to look at before. Office and I don't know, what do you want to make of it? There's a nice piano that they've got in here. Yeah, you can look. easily see how big it is. I mean, this definitely could be an office or it could be maybe even another bedroom if you like. Sure. Personally, I'm feeling this is just somewhere where we can talk about things. Yeah, like your taxes. Oh, my mother. Sorry, <laughs> mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a large room, for sure. It Hardwood is. floors again. It is. Use your imagination for what you want to use it for, but it certainly has lots of potential. And then we're going to head up the oh. stairs to this beautiful second floor. Okay, so here we are. And the first thing I notice when I come up to this uh, uh, spot of this landing at the top of the stairs, 
How bright is this? So bright. We love skylights. Oh, love skylights. They're so great. They're we so want, handy. I want a skylight. Then you've got the fan and the and the uh, lamp, which you know a little extra light, obviously, but it's good circulation. Nice to have in a in an area like that. Yeah, I mean this place is air conditioned. It has AC, so it's not necessary to have a fan. But why not yeah. if you've got one? It's, it's nice good. to have. Always good. It helps the AC out actually to, to be able to circulate. So, so this, this house was built in 1994. 1994. Custom and, built. Yeah. So um, longer ago than you would think, but. A lot newer than the houses that we yeah. There've been some lovely upgrades to definitely keep it into t year two thousand yes. twenty one. And this, so we're calling this bedroom one. It's a nice big space. Double closets. Double closets. Look wow. at how nice and neat this is. Right, just Damn. like our closet at home, Carrie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and so two sides to that, which is yeah. a uh, double. Yeah. So you know, and oh, and a double rod here, built-in closet. So right. great. So right. handy. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm moving in. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's how this works. No? Oh, anyway, shoot. this is a nice bathroom here, a good uh, sized vanity with storage uh, below. You've got your toilet, of course, very important for a bathroom. You have the shower tub combo. And what's this, Carrie? Mm, the linen closet. The linen closet. Look at Carrie loves linen here. closets. She's them all. It looks like Marie Kondo or something. <laughs> Just nice. New Hello. countertops again, New so of course. Nice, and then your little uh, medicine, medicine cabinet, cabinet off the side. Okay, and we head into bedroom number two. Oh, we'll call it number so, two. And so you were saying this is sort of the smallest of the bedrooms. This is the smallest of all the bedrooms, but still a good size. Although this is a single bed, you could easily put anything up to a queen. Yeah. Um, and then you also have room here for a dresser. Yes. Or a desk for your brainy child. For your studious child, your studious <laughs> teenager. Just Correct. like ours. Okay, and then More another- More built-in closet. Built-in closets, a nice closet organizer. That's always fun to have. That should be enough for most kids, I would think. Yeah. And then bedroom number three is back to being a pretty good size. That's a, what size bed is this? This is a queen size bed. So yep. again, you can see that you can easily put two side tables here. And if mm -hmm. you wanted, you can easely fit a nice dresser or desk. Yeah, dresser, desk. Whatever, whoever it's for. And then yep. we also have a double doors to your closet. So double it's door. quite. Yeah, that's a, a nice big closet, which is essential. And what oh, is this? Oh my God, is, is that a leaf this? fan I see there? Oh, I like these people. Okay. Okay, uh, we're gonna close that up. And then we're gonna head into the primary bedroom, which is the size of a downtown apartment in Toronto. It's a big <laughs> spot. It's got, uh, you've got, you see you've got the double nightstands there. That's a queen size bed. Yes. We could put a, you could, we could, I suppose. But we, anybody could. Do we need to talk? <laughs> anybody. This is the easily put, uh, fit a king size bed yes. in here. Yeah. And yep. definitely, as you can see here, there's room for the dresser. Yes. You could put, uh, there's a bench, you could put a chair. I mean, this, yes. there's room for stuff yes. to go on in here. Two windows to keep the space bright. Mm -hmm. And then we head into, well, this would be a bachelor apartment in downtown Toronto. I think we went <laughs> to one of these out last week about the same size. And so you've got your big jacuzzi tub, you've got your shower stall here. Like a stand-up shower. And this yeah. is a four-piece, well, five-piece yes. because you do have double vanity things. Yes. So I really like that too, a little bit of space. You put yeah. your stuff there, I put mine here. Right. And see who's cleaner. It does sound like we're moving in. <laughs> okay, so, and then we have another, uh, another medicine, medicine cabinet. cabinet. There, and that is a new countertop as well in there. Yes, new so, quartz. Now we head into who needs a closet when you have a room for your clothes. That's right. right. Do you want to do you want to take a walk through there and show? I may not ever come back out. Um, right? Again, Don't another built-in <laughs> another built-in closet yep. with many drawers to put all of your stuff. You've got room for yes. shoes and I don't know everything. Yeah. So and you know they just threw a mirror here. So you can check your look. <laughs> check it out before we go. I'm yep. ready. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. Check my, there we go. Yep. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, so that's a nice. That's very nice to have in your primary bedroom. Yeah. This is heading into the finished basement, and so that's big. A nice sitting area. Gas fireplace. Uh, you high, ceilings, high ceilings. Hot lights. Yes. Hot lights along this side here, and you could easily turn this into a nice uh, TV room hangout pad downstairs. Sure. So you've got your bathroom with a shower stall, a nice vanity there, and a toilet, 
And then we head into Where's Carrie? Oh, I'm right here. Yeah. And this is a nice bedroom to have in your basement. Lovely. Uh, this is where I would like, what I would like when I see friends or stay with family. Yeah. It's comfortable, it's airy, it's bright, it's got yeah. lots of natural light, right. yeah. um, and it's big. And yes. with the washroom being there, I can get ready before I meet everybody else. It's, that it's is beautiful. Nice. But it's also ideal for a um, rental Yep, rental nanny space. suite, rental uh, income suite, and uh, multi-generational sort of family space as well. And it's a storage room now, but what could it be? You can build it into, you can add it onto the living area and make a whole sure, yeah. apartment and add a kitchen you to the space. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. your, your electrical box and stuff in the corner there. And then uh, over the here. Storage space. Cold, uh, cold storage which I would make into a wine cellar, of course, because I'm classy like that. <laughs> and then we head into, so we don't ordinarily show off uh, laundry rooms, but there's something special about this laundry room that we'll get to in a second. You have your washer dryer, you have your uh, heating and air conditioner, well, heating system at least, and uh, a little bit more room for storage. But where's Carrie going? going oh my God, where's the staircase going? Where's Carrie going? <laughs> <laughs> She's Come running on, away. everybody. <laughs> and this takes us right back to what? The mud the room. Mud room. Which that we add to the house, to, to the garage, to the house, outdoors, and an outdoor direct access to the outdoors. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, or go to our webpage at owningtoronto.com and sign up for our daily email alerts.